Hi, my name is Jason Spaniu, DJ Shine with Wave DNA, and uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial that shows a couple neat workflows that I've been using um, when trying to take a simple beat, like a one bar beat, and expand it into four or eight bar progressions. Um, Liquid Rhythm is a very powerful sequencer and it has lots of really neat shortcuts and tricks and stuff, and I'd like to show you some of the ones that, that get me going here. So really quickly, I'm just going to be looking right here at a drum clip inside Ableton Live. So that's on a track that's got a drum rack. All my assets are being reported and I can see all the names of the tracks here. And I'm just going to go ahead and enter user mode on my push because come on, it's so much fun. And really quickly, this is my kick drum pattern. So I'm going to just throw in a bit of a rhythm here. Cool. Go up a couple tracks to my snare. Dial in some beats there. <clears throat> Hi-hats. Not really being too picky about what's happening here. I'm just going to probably just get a little bit of a, uh, a cool rhythm going and then we can see where we can take it. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Maybe I'll put up my accent modifiers and just dial in some groove there. So we have a bit more, uh, more play. Let's see here. Right on. Okay. So now let's take what we've got here. It's like a pretty cool little uh, you know, one bar loop. And I'd like to expand that. So using my push, if I go to my arranger page, um, I can find loop selection and select all. These are my two really important buttons to have here. Okay, And if your push doesn't look like this right now, it's fine because there's a way to make our pushes be customized, uh, at least when using the user mode here, uh, to what button and knobs you want to be. So by holding down the shift key, I can turn any of the upper dials here, and you'll see I'll be cycling through all the choices I'd like. So you know, let's make sure we have those two we selected, okay? Select all and loop selection, all right? And I also probably want to have select row and select column there. So try and go ahead and make that look like that. So what we've got here is one bar loop, and I'd like to make sure that all of my notes that are in there are selected. So we can see right here in the liquid rhythm, yep, they're all selected. Now on my push, I'm going to go double, push the double button. And what that does is it essentially will take all of those and duplicate them, right? So you're like, why don't I just use the duplicate button on the push? Because duplicate and push takes us and gives us uh, duplicating of the actual clip, not information inside the clip. The clip itself will operate as a typical duplicate does in push with Ableton Live normally, okay? Important to note that. So, okay, cool. And hit double again and double again. So now I've got a four bar loop going here. Yeah, wait, one more double. Okay. So next thing I'd like to do is I'd want to make my loop go across, right? And that's that's cool. How do I do that way? Or I can just simply say select all, because now I know I have four bars. All four bars are selected. And then this button says loop selection. That's going to reset my loop selection size to four bars now. And we're having a good time. So let's start adding in some other rhythms here. What do we got? What, uh, I'm on the wrench here. I'm gonna go to my, uh, my clap. I'm gonna add in some claps on the two and four, okay? All right. So I only did that in one of the four bars. So either I'd start dialing through and, and, and keep manually keeping up with, uh, you know, updating the information, moving around, or I could turn on the tap tempo button here and that's going to make the selector area move with it. So it's basically moving one bar. First one's going to come up again. Second one, I can add some other changes in. Third one and fourth one. So that's me doing it. Typical step sequencer style where things keep up and keep automatically updated, right? The last way would be to say select row or select column. So if I hold down the shift button, Select row lets me select all of these by themselves. But by holding the shift button, I can lock that on. And basically anything I do now, when the row is selected, will happen across all bars that exist within the loop breaks. Okay, so that's a really interesting thing to note. I'm gonna go up to my toms and add in. Cool. So I effectively am we're already cluster sequencing on the macro size of it with little notes, but now we're going to cluster our groups together and be able to sequence those across four bars. 
and uh, you know, same thing, go to my maracas and dial in something interesting there. Kind of cool. So then the other way of looking at this is we've got the select column button, right? So basically right now I'm going to unlock the select row and I'm going to lock on select column. You can see everything's selected right now, but if I start moving left to right, you'll see I'm actually doing the opposite of what select row was, which was more of a horizontal and this is vertical, right? Yeah. So we're doing it this way. And this is actually another really neat way of, of uh, changing your rhythm really slightly. Right? I can choose to select all the bars or I can minimize to only a few, but if I've got that locked on, it's only going to give me one bar. So I'm going to go to my randomizer and I'm just going to do a couple things. I'm going to dial really far back. Actually, here, let me just change this here. Dial all the way back to like a very bare minimum. You see already I've got a bit of a fill going on, but that was a bit of an error. I had that selected, so I'm just going to get rid of all that. I'm going to blow that up. See you later. And we're gonna grab that that row behind it. Oh, this is all crazy. See ya. If I click anywhere in this row, the whole column's being selected again, and uh, I'll be able to duplicate that. All right. So now we got a four-bar loop again. What I wanted to do was have only the information in this be highlighted. Right. So now I might be able to change it up, and I've added more notes in places where I didn't really need them. Cool. Again, what I would probably do at this point is select all and then loop that selection or double that. And now we've got an eight bar loop about to happen. Select all again so it encompasses the whole selection. Loop selection. I'll probably unlock my select column. Before you know it, I've got the hit of the week here. that process over and over again as you feel need to. So try that at home kids. <laughs>